that women, the way they thrive sexually is the model of tension and release. Men do too, right? We think of masturbation. You watch, you get worked up, you work up, then release. Or sex, you work up, you work up, you release. Well, that's very pronounced with women. And in fact, the release takes, for a guy or a woman, if, if it's done properly, I mean, women can have multiple orgasms, but generally the release stage is a lot shorter than the, than the buildup, than the tension. So actually, we have, in my rule book, we have permission to work on the, on the tension part. Well, even when a girl's off limits, we just can't participate in the release part, which is for a guy ejaculating for the girl an orgasm, uh, for example. So that's a, because it occupies 80, 90% of the time interval, it's, uh, it's a lot of, there's a lot to play with there, even if, even if the girl's off limits. Uh, people have disagreement with that. We can talk after. I'm curious to get some feedback. So anyone here can give me a, a, a concrete example of flirting? Like what would you see in a, in a coffee shop or at a, at a birthday party and said, oh, that guy's flirting with a girl? What would you see? Any hands? Come on. Touching. Touching. And the crotch, like like that, <laughs> or what kind of touching? Just a brush, like a little, like a brush or arm. Holding hands. Holding hands is more of a committed thing, isn't it, than a flirting thing? Footsie, yeah, like maybe under the table. Yeah. Anyone else flirting? Yeah, strong eye contact. Exactly. The push pull is. I write about that in my book. Actually, that's probably a known and I guess in the community or whatever, but push-pull is a way to pump up the tension. And so there's a lot of ways we can, we can verbally push-pull, we can physically push-pull. So that's a, that's a really good uh, schema or model.